Hi, I'm Bill from Hirogari. You can find me online at hirogarimusic.com and today I'm going to show you how I use Logic's environment to manage multiple MIDI controllers controlling multiple individual software instruments and channels. I've got a piece called Yamadera and uh, it was originally written in the studio and uh, it doesn't have that much going on in terms of the individual musical parts but it does have a huge amount of automation going on. There's uh, seven or eight different soft synths running simultaneously um, playing back the various parts and then there's 40 to 50 layers of automation on the uh, parameters and the uh, filters and things on the various instruments and then there's um, a whole bunch of automation for volume automation and there's pan automation and then there's a whole bunch of uh, automation on various sends and the effects that those um, uh, those channels get sent to. Uh, so in order to recreate it live I had to find a way to use at least two MIDI controllers, one for one part, one for the other part and send those to the various software instruments um, so that the automation would play back from the arrange window but while I was, uh, the automation was being played back, I could play the notes in um, to then be affected by all of that automation. So I did a bit of digging around online, I did a bit of research, and this is how I figured out how to do it using the logic environment. There may be better ways to do it, but this is a nice, simple, clean way um, to do it. And I've been using it for a whole bunch of different performances now, and um, it's really rock solid, so let's get stuck into it. First thing you need to do is figure out uh, what the names of your various keyboards are as far as the ports go, what Logic's going to see. So if you go into Utilities and then find the Utility Audio MIDI Setup. Okay, and you have a look here in your MIDI Setup. Now I've got my MIDI Setup here. What I'm going to do first of all is just check that I've got everything work done. So I click on MIDI Test Setup and then I start playing my various things and then they start showing up. So my top keyboard is my Radium 49, my bottom keyboard is the Keyrig 49. Now you'd think that that would be simple but if you double click on the instrument you'll find that it actually has what the ports are. So the Radium 49 refers to as port 1 and the Keyrig 49 is referred to as Keyrig 49. That's really important because that's how they show up in Logic's environment. So I'll quit that and now I'll go and have a look at my environment. Okay, you can see first of all in my arrange window I've got a piano sound and then I've got Nexus pad, a nice pad off the RFX Nexus and then I've got an ES1 generating another pad. Slightly longer attack on that one. Now the first thing to know about how MIDI controllers are handled in Logic Arrange is it doesn't matter how many controllers you've got plugged in, they're all going to show up in exa playing exactly the same instrument. Whatever instrument you have selected here in the Arrange window, that's the instrument that all of your MIDI controllers are going to play. So if I play my top keyboard, if I play my bottom keyboard, they're both controlling the same sound. Okay, so that could be something if you you know wanted to play a piano duet, you can totally rock that out provided you've got enough polyphony. But um, that doesn't really help me because what I want to be able to do is assign, say, the top keyboard to control the piano sound and I want to assign the bottom keyboard to control the pad sound. So how do I do that? Well, that's what the environment's for. So now I need to get into my environment. So I'm going to go click up here on Window and click on Environment or I can press Command 8 to get access to that. And you can see here I've got my Nexus pad, I've got my Yamaha piano, and I've got my ES1 pad. So what I want to do is set my top keyboard, my Radium, which I know is port 1, and I want to set my Keystation 49, which I know comes up as Keyrig, or whatever that comes up as. So let's go here and create a new physical input. And this gives me access to all of the MIDI inputs that I have. So you can see I've got a sum here. And what sum does is exactly what happens in the arrange page. It sums all of those keyboards together. So I'm going to select port 1, which I remember is the radium. I've got to find that little point there. Drag that over onto, click and drag onto Yamaha Piano, which lights up. And now my top controller is controlling my piano sound. Now, I want my key rig to control my Nexus pad. So I just repeat the process and I now have my piano being controlled by my top controller and I've got my pad being controlled by my bottom controller. 
which is nice and neat. Now, let's say that you wanted to do some kind of cool layering thing like I did in Yamadera and let's say that you have going to program some automation in or you've got some automation programmed in and you want to actually control two separate pads using the same controller. Well, you can do that, it just requires a little bit more environment wizardry. So, go back to the environment, first thing I'm going to do is select the output of that key rig by just clicking on that, then I hit the delete key and that deletes that cable. So now my Nexus pad no longer has a connection to it. There's not really a MIDI kind of split thing happening here in uh, in environment, but you can use the monitor to do that. So what I'm gonna do is collect my, connect my key rig here back up to the monitor, and there's no sound coming out because it's not hooked up to any sound sources yet, but I can actually see all of the output of my um, controller, various controller data. So there's my uh, expression wheel there, my modulation wheel, there's my pitch bend, okay? And the first number tells you the channel and the second number tells you the controller number and then the third number there tells you um, the uh, the data that's coming off it, what the value is. So that's my um, volume, little volume control there. Okay, so what I need to do is just connect that back up to a sound. So what I'm gonna do is grab the connector and hook it back up to Nexus pad. And now I've got sound coming out of my Nexus synth again. But you'll notice over here, when I drag that cable, it created another output for me. So I can actually run that output to my ES1 pad. And now, can hear my ES1 pad coming out of the top. So if I mute the Nexus pad, you can hear there's that ES1 pad coming in. Okay. So now I've got my two pads being controlled by my bottom keyboard and my piano sound being controlled by my top keyboard. So So that's how you can use the logic environment to um, route various MIDI controllers to independently control or to control layers and those kind of things of your various soft synths. Um, you can use that to do you know, kind of live performance or um, you can actually record uh, multiple channels at the same time. So let's say that you were um, wanting to record something, say an organ piece or something like that, you'd be able to record your top and bottom registers. And, uh, and be able to do it that way. So I hope you found that useful and check out hirogadimusic.com or my YouTube channel for uh, more tutorials on how to do cool stuff for cool people doing cool things live. See you.